Hello, welcome to the offices of DBS, the Disclosure and Barring Service, where safeguarding is at the heart of everything we do. Here we help employers make safer recruitment decisions, finding the right people for jobs that involve working or volunteering with vulnerable groups, including children. So how do we do that? Well, as the name suggests, there are two sides to what we do. First, disclosure. Want to work or volunteer in England, Wales, the Isle of Man, Jersey or Guernsey? You may be asked for a DBS check. You might have heard it called a criminal records check before. There are four different types of check. First, basic, which can be used for any position or purpose. There's no eligibility criteria. For more information about how to apply for a basic DBS check, search dbs at gov.uk. Certain roles need a higher level of check. For these, there's a standard check, an enhanced check, plus an enhanced with barred lists check. This video will focus on these three types of check. There's a fee for each check, but standard enhanced and enhanced with barred lists are free for volunteers. Whatever the check, you'll receive a DBS certificate when it's done. The other side of what we do is barring. DBS maintains two barred lists. These are lists of individuals that are barred from working or volunteering with vulnerable groups, including children, in England, Wales and Northern Ireland. One lists individuals that are barred from working or volunteering with children and the other lists individuals that are barred from working or volunteering with adults. Individuals can be on one or both lists. We also make informed decisions about who should be included on these lists. All DBS processors are quality assured for both disclosure and barring. Now, back to disclosure and DBS checks. Along the way, we may need to gather information from other organisations. This means that some applications for DBS checks could take a bit of time. So let's open the doors of just one of the many organisations where a worker or volunteer may need a DBS check and look at what's needed to make the process as quick and smooth as possible. If you apply to work or volunteer here, the organisation will determine if a DBS check is needed. If it is, they'll decide which type of check you need. You can't apply for a standard enhanced or enhanced with barred lists check yourself. There are approved organisations registered with DPS to submit these types of check. These are known as registered bodies. If the employer or organisation that has requested your check is a registered body, they'll submit your application to us once it's complete. If not, they will use another organisation who is registered, known as an umbrella body. You'll be asked to apply online or be given an application form to complete. It's really important that you check everything over on the application form. Make sure everything's complete and accurate. If it's not, your application could be delayed, returned to the registered body or withdrawn. You'll also need to provide some ID documents to verify your identity. This is done by the verified ID checker and will be arranged by the employer or registered body. You can share your ID documents face to face or send them to the ID checker for validation and join a video chat to verify them. The ID checker will compare the details on your application to those on your ID documents. Once your identity has been verified, the registered body will then complete the sections of the application that they're responsible for. They will check your information is complete and then a nominated individual will countersign the application. When the application is complete, it will be sent digitally to DBS or posted. We'll take it from here. So what happens when your application for a DBS check reaches us? First, if it's a paper form, we'll scan it. After that, everything's digital and you can track how it's progressing online. All standard, enhanced and enhanced with barred list checks go through an automatic check. This looks for matches between the details you've supplied and those held on various systems. We'll check against the police national computer, the PNC. For enhanced checks, we'll also check against police force data. And for enhanced with barred list checks, against the barred list we maintain here at DBS2. If there's no match, the check is usually complete and you'll receive a DBS certificate. The only exception is if you're applying or volunteering for a role that involves working in your own home, such as a foster carer. In that case, even if there's no match, we'll need to send your application to relevant law enforcement agencies so they can carry out a check on adults at your home. But what happens if there is a match? For standard checks, we'll apply filtering guidance that may remove some cautions and convictions. For an enhanced or enhanced with barred list check, if there's a match on PNC or against police force data, we'll send your application to relevant law enforcement agencies. 
If we're unsure of a match at this stage, we'll invite you to provide fingerprints. If after this there's still no match, you'll receive your certificate. If there is a match, we'll send your application to the relevant law enforcement agencies too. DBS works closely with a number of law enforcement agencies, including police forces across the UK. Your application will end up here if there's a match against the details on our own systems, or if we've had to request your fingerprints and there was a match against them. The police will verify that you're the person who's been matched, and that all police forces that need to be consulted have been. Any issues, such as missing or incorrect information, will flag a conflict, and your application will come back to DBS to clarify. If there's no conflict, the forces will check for any information they hold relevant to the role you're applying for. If they don't find any, your application comes back to us. If they do, they'll assess the information's relevance to the role. They'll decide if it ought to be disclosed on your DBS certificate. This decision is made using an agreed framework, and they'll share their decision with us in a template we've agreed with all agencies. These checks can take a bit of time, especially if there are several police forces involved. Remember, if you want to see how your application is doing, you can check online anytime. Back in the DBS offices, we'll bring together the information gathered from all checks here and elsewhere. If we haven't already filtered it in line with government guidance, we'll do that now, removing any cautions or convictions that can be left out. Then we'll assemble and issue your DBS certificate. It's a secure document, so keep it safe. The employer or organisation that requested the DBS check will tell you what you need to do with it. DBS also offers the Update Service, an online subscription that allows your employer, if they have your consent, to check your certificate is up to date. So that's what we do, how DBS works to safeguard the public. For more information about any of our services, search dbs.gov.uk.